I woke up early in the morning to go to Yosemite and see some wildflowers in mid-May. After two and a half hours drive, I was outside the Yosemite gate before 7 a.m. It takes almost 30 minutes drive inside the park to reach the tunnel opening. After passing through the tunnel, I park for the most amazing tunnel view at Yosemite. The sun was almost high in the sky. I could see the bridal veil fall. Just across the road, there's a trail that starts from the parking lot to the inspiration point. Just a few yards on the trail, I saw some small patches of Sarah baby blue eyes. Beautiful white and blue flowers from very small plants. Merced River passes through the Yosemite Valley. Threadleaf sedges grow in small patches on the sides and inside the river. I could just sit here and hear the calming sounds of ice cold water for hours. Yosemite Valley is surrounded by mountains on all sides, with a meadow in the middle. The grassland in the middle did not have any wildflowers yet. I think after a month it will be filled with flower beds. When I moved a little closer to the river, I could find small patches of cutleaf checker bloom. Beautiful pink flowers. It felt like they belonged in this beautiful park. Yosemite had a wildfire that ran through it. It started outside the Yosemite Park and burned through the valley. This is a control fire set by the rangers to clean up the burned area. In the middle of fire and damage, I could find colorful small patches of crowded lupins. Just next to lupins was a beautiful natural spring that constantly pumped clear water. A small patch of hairy golden aster was very close by. Beautiful yellow flowers in this beautiful setting. The recent fire has burned many trees and left a vast damage. In nature, when one life dies, it creates space for the other. Just a few yards away, I could find many patches of variable leaf colomia. Small pink flowers close to Merced River. I sat there on the bank of the Merced River, listening to the sounds of water and to reflect. All the environmental desperation that makes our future look so gloomy, but when you see places like Yosemite, it gives you hope. If we could preserve one part of the planet like this, maybe in the future we would be able to tackle bigger environmental problems that we face. Maybe the future generations would take lessons from this beautiful patch of land and try to make rest of the planet like this.